This demonstration is going to be the procedure for the chlorophyll A sample collection and uh, infield filtering. The sample is collected um, from the centroid of flow along with the um, sampling protocols is followed with collecting all the other subsurface samples. First thing you're going to want to do, we're going to assemble the filter. This is the filter holder. Comes undone. There's an O-ring that you want to be aware of. It's helpful to get the filter a little bit wet. Helps the filter stick to it a little bit better. You gently take the filter out with the forceps and place it in the exact center of the filter holder. Making sure it's secure. Place the O-ring on top also so it's centered. So you can put filter together. And you want to take the syringe and get ready to filter your first 60 milliliters of sample. And you want to make sure you turn the sample through so it's well mixed. And you want to do that in between each collection. Filter. And you want to make sure that as you're dispensing the water through, you carefully hold it in place. And then you slowly disperse the water. And the volume of water that you're going to put through the filter is going to depend on how many, um, how much suspended particles are in, in the water. Uh, the more suspended particles, the less water you're going to use. So it's a, it's a judgment call. And you want to keep track of how much volume you're putting through the filter. It's something that needs to be recorded at the end. So for this sample, we're going to use two syringe holes, which is 120 milliliters. Okay, and then recording the volume. You can also um, get an idea for how much water, how much volume needs to move through the filter based on the resistance you, you get as you're pushing the plunger. Uh, the more water you push through, the harder it gets to push through the filter. It's kind of an indication that you know you have enough water filtered. Then to prepare the sample, the filter, to go to the lab, you get a piece of foil. And an envelope.
and the filter needs to be folded into quarters. Kind of use four sets. And you want to be careful when you're doing it not to squeeze all the water out of the filter. And put it into your labeled envelope. Sealing it. Remembering to write the volume of water that was put through the filter. And in this case, we did 120 milliliters. And then we're going to take this back to the cooler and put it on dry ice. 